Hello students, I hope you are doing beautiful mathematics. In this particular video, we will continue learning Math Olympiad Geometry. In particular, I will work on a problem that will show you how to apply the concept of power of a point to solve interesting problems. This problem came up in USA JMO. It is the top tier of mathematical Olympiads in the United States for junior students. And it involves a cyclic quadrilateral. So suppose you have a circle like this, A, B, C, D. The length of A, B is given to be 7. The length of B, C is given to be 8. And we have four more points, P, Q, R, S. Here, AP is given to be equal to BQ equals to 3. And BS is equal to CR is equal to 2. So, this is 2, this is 2. And this is 3, this is 3. Of course, the picture is not to scale. We want to show that PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. So, PQRS is this and it is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, let me first tell you, whenever you are solving a circle geometry problem, the first thing you should be doing is to draw the center of the circle, even if it is not mentioned in the problem. You'll be surprised to notice how much effective it can be in the problem. Okay, so center of the circle is suppose O. Now, we will look at the points P, Q, R, S and start thinking about what is special about these points. As I mentioned that this will be an application of power of points. What is power of a point? It is a special invariant of a point with respect to a given circle. So suppose, I'll draw a separate picture. Suppose we have a point X in the circle. Then power of X with respect to this circle is a special feature of this point X, a number that describes the point X. How do you figure out the number? There are two ways. The first way is that you draw a line that intersects the circle. Then xA times xB is that number, this magical number. This is called power of x. There is another way. What you do is you take the center of the circle, let's suppose it's O, then r square minus o x square, the distance of the point from the center square, subtracted from the radius square. This quantity is also known as power of the point x. And both of these things are equal. That's actually a theorem in elementary geometry. So we will be using this. We will be using both of these things in our problem. In fact, if before going back to the problem, let me say one thing about problem solving strategy. You know, one of the ways of solving beautiful mathematical problems is to look at the same thing in two different ways. Look at the same thing in two different ways. Often, the singular act can have magical effect on the solution. Okay, so let's get back to this. Let's look at the point P and compute the power of the point P. Notice that this is 3, PA is 3 and PB is 4 because the total thing is 7. So PA times PB is 3 times 4 which is 12. So the power of the point P is 12. What about the power of the point Q? 
Well, QA times QB. So notice that QA is 4 and QB is 3. So that's again 3 times, uh, 4 times 3, which is 12. What about S? What is the power of the point S? So SD times SC. SD is 2. SC is 6. 2 times 6, that's 12. Similarly, power of the point R is also 12. RD times RC is 12. So the power of the point A, uh, sorry, P, Q, R, S, all of them are same, which is the most important fact of this problem. So let me write it down. Power of any of these points, P or Q or R or S, all of them are equal to 12. That's what we found. We are at the final leg of the problem. Remember I told you, look at the same concept from two different directions. Let's do it now. We will use the second definition of the power of the point. We will say, okay, this is equal to the distance of the point from the center subtracted from the radius of the circle. Here x is p or q or r or s. All four of them will satisfy this. And what is r? r is the, well, maybe you will get confused, so I'll just write radius. What is the radius? Radius is of the main circle. So radius square, whatever the value of the radius is, it's one circle, so one radius value, minus ox square is equals to 12. So what is ox square? ox square is 12 minus radius square. So ox is equal to square root of 12 minus radius square. And we are done. Because what this equation says is that x, which we know is either p or q or r or s, we know that x to o, this distance, is square root of 12 minus radius square, a fixed number. So the distance from o to p, q, r, s, the distance is always square root of radius square of the main circle's radius square minus 12. So it's a fixed number. O to each of those points is a fixed number. That is the definition of a circle. That all the points should be equidistant from a single point. So what we just proved that P, Q, R, S is cyclic. Okay, so I hope you learned something. I hope you learned how to use power of a point in the context of, a, of an Olympiad problem. And you also found how to look at the same thing from two different directions. Thank you for watching this video. Keep on doing beautiful mathematics. And you can go to the link in the description to find out more about Olympiad research and leadership programs leading up to our Ivy League universities at Chinta. It's a fun journey. I think you'll enjoy it. All the best. I'll see you in the next one.